Or Here's a question. Is it not fair to use the term lie when the falsehood has been pointed out to the president in, say, yes. a televised interview? Like someone tells the president, this has happened a couple times. I remember David Weir doing it on the question of illegal, yeah. illegal voting. He said, Mr. President, there's no evidence that three million people voted yeah. illegally. You know that's not true. And, and yeah. Trump just blusters his way. I think in a situation like that where he's been fully apprised and he continues making the characterization, I feel that a lie is fair. And not just fair, but important. I would still rather have the story say that Trump repeated an assertion that has been determined to be untrue multiple times by fact checkers or something like that than for the reporter to simply say, Trump. The whole fact-checking industry, which has been around for a decade or uh, a little more, is, is something that is that represents itself as the ultimate neutral arbiter of the political system. And indeed, in many cases, I believe they are. There are times when, and, and Mark Hemingway at the Weekly Standard and other people have been full-time almost critics of the fact checkers saying they're corrupt, that you know they're biased, that they, you know this is a poison that uh, springs from the same well. However. I do think that, you know, uh, like the Post and PolitiFact, uh, Fact Check Org, they all give you, um, you know, the, the, their supporting material. Uh, nine times out of ten, they are not making judgments. They're taking right up, uh, straight up facts. Did Ted Cruz say this? What did he mean? So on and so forth. There are invariably going to be interpretations. Um, but I would say that they have been very tough. They were very tough on Hillary Clinton uh, in uh, the last presidential election. And I believe that, um, you know, any sort of fact-checking system is going to be difficult on Donald Trump, simply because he does not have a very good relationship with the truth. I would rather see stories refer to respected fact-check groups than to just for the reporter to call something a lie themselves. I think that's a really bad trend we've gotten into, where the reporter just within their story will say, you know, Trump repeated a lie that I think that's bad journalism. I'd rather I would. There are plenty of people that you can bring in to say something with a lie, or even the reporter to say. However, the Washington Post fact checker found that. I think that's better than this trend we're seeing of of reporters just simply saying themselves. Trump repeated a lie or Trump lied when he said. I think that's just bad journalism. Anytime you allege a lie, you need to support it within the four corners of the story. I don't think it's something that can just be thrown around. Um, I mean, uh, the problem like the, the problem about using the word lie is, is that it requires you to know the state of mind right. of the speaker, right? And we had this all during the Iraq War. Bush lied, people died, right? So we know that there weren't weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. What we don't know, and what I think probably isn't true, is that George W. Bush consciously lied about that as opposed to repeated misinformation that right. he was given. 